how to test the rectifier on a Bosch alternator fitted to a Skoda Fabia 1.9 TDI Mark 1, 99 to 2007. If we have a look at the back of the alternator, we can see the regulator at the top here which regulates the charging current to the battery and this sits on at the bottom the rectifier which takes up the remaining space on the back of the alternator you can test this in situ you don't have to take it off or take the alternator out you just have to completely disconnect it from the battery and electrical supply but before we do that we first need to see if there's a good charging voltage with the alternator connected take this little cap off the B positive post put the red lead on positive B terminal on the back of the alternator and your negative lead on the body of the alternator to ground it. Then just read the engine which initiates the charging system over two to two and a half thousand revs. 14.6 that's okay that's giving a good stable charge and it's under 14.8 volts which is a good charging voltage Anything over 14.8 volts would be a overcharging condition and something to investigate further. But given the state of my battery and the lack of use of the car, I would expect a highish reading. The main thing here when you're testing the rectifier is it's not undercharging, which would lead us to investigate the rectifier further. Anyway, that's fine, apart from the leads becoming loose on the multimeter. We're now on to checking the condition of the diodes in the rectifier. So we now need to disconnect the alternator, then undo and remove the nut, holding the thick cable in place, which in this case is a 13mm. Take care taking the nut off, just put your finger underneath it as you take it off, stop it falling off. Bend the connector out, but don't touch anything if you've still got the battery connected. And disconnect the electrical connection. And then go grab your multimeter. Of course the modern alternator is far more efficient than the old dynamos used to be. More reliable and doesn't have to rely on engine speed as much to produce a steady voltage supply to the system. The alternator produces alternating current by utilising three coiled loops around a set of magnets that rotate on a central shaft. The purpose of the rectifier is to change the AC current into DC current and it does that with a set of diodes two diodes on each winding which act like one-way valves only allowing current to flow in one direction when they work of course but with such a setup they're quite easy to test with everything disconnected or the alternator removed from the car connect one connector to the B post positive terminal I'm going to use the black negative terminal first Turn your multimeter to the diode setting, just here, I've got to set mine to diodes. Place the red terminal on the body of the alternator. And I get a high reading, like this, 490. 0 0.490. And when you turn the leads round, positive on the B post, negative on the body open circuit perfect another important test is to see if there's any AC voltage leaking from the alternator into the system ideally you want this to be less than about a hundred millivolts but we need to reconnect the alternator for this test once you've reconnected the alternator Place your positive lead on the B post and your black lead negative on the body of the alternator. Turn your multimeter to volts and then volts AC. Yep, that's mine on volts AC now. Turn the engine on. Got about 5 millivolts. Rev the engine. Goes up to about 9 millivolts. Drops down to about 3. I'll just check that again. It 
and ticks over about three to five millivolts. Even though there's a slight difference between revved and tick over, about six millivolts, it's still pretty low and I'm not unduly worried about that. If you've got a very high reading, you'll probably find that your lights flicker or your internal gauges don't work correctly and can cause faults in the sensitive electronic equipment. Anyway, I hope this helped you out guys. Oh, and Cousin Jeff says don't forget to put the plastic cap back on. There we go, job sorted. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing.